Today, our class is having a visitor. We want to know what a veterinarian does. We invited Dr. Kate, the veterinarian. She helped us take care of Henry. Henry is our class guinea pig. He is also Dr. Kate's patient. I help keep animals healthy, says Dr. Kate. Dr. Kate gives Henry a checkup. She checks his eyes and ears. They look great. Can I be next? asks Ethan. Dr. Kate says veterinarian don't see human patients. Dr. Kate is a small animal vet. She treats pets, such as dogs and rabbits. There are also vets for large animals and wild animals. They help out at farms and zoos. Even tigers say, ah! Vets go to a special school. They study how to care for animals. They learn about protecting them in zoos, on farms, and in your home. When they can help other animals, helpers like wildlife rescuers and pet owners. Yikes! What happened to Henry's fur? He looks like Joy's fuzzy pencil. Dr. Kate has just the thing for messy hair. A brush, he says. It's one of the many tools vets use. Phew! All better. Sometimes an animal has problems with its fur, scales, or feathers. A dog can get bugs that makes its body itchy. Vets have special tools for solving these problems. Vets also use many of the same tools that people, doctors, use. They use a stethoscope for listening to the heart. They have an x-ray machine for seeing bones. They also give shots that stop nasty germs. We Liam sure doesn't like shots. He bets most animals don't either. No worries for Henry today. His checkup was easy. Dr. Kate says he's healthy. That means we're good. Henry helpers, says Ella. Thanks to Dr. K. We learn how to take even better care of him. Dr. K shows us the right foods for Henry. She talks about ways he can get exercise. But most important, she makes us promise to give him lots of love. It's a promise. We always keep Dr. Kate Lens a hand with Henry, so we give our animal helper a hand too. The end. Bye, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this book called Let's Meet a Veterinarian.